definitely mean he's going to want to uh, trot more than canter at that kind of speed range, though. Yes. That's what I've seen in the ramp pin. His chosen gait. Trotting will be so easy for him. Yeah. But the thing is, he this gate. He's got a gated LS joint placement. That long. That's a long lumbar sacral joint for this horse. Lumbar span. That's really long. But look here. There's diagonal. The other thing too is look how his legs are set underneath of him. He's not camped out behind. Um, so that he's got great support underneath of him. Mm -hmm. So that's also going to incline the steamer to act as in a trot situation. Um, but boy, that says gait. There should be, you know, if the opportunity ever came that he went under saddle, it'd be really interesting to see if he ended up doing something like a, um, you know, I, I want to use the Peruvian term, Paso Llano, because we're talking with something with Iberian ancestry here. But Pasayano is essentially the same footfall as running walk, right? Okay. So what does it mean because his LS is behind gate? He's got okay. gate. Because it's placed so far behind the point of the hip, means that he has a gated LS joint placement. Okay. Or if he was not, if he had non gated if it was a non-gated horse totally, it would be it would be even. Really almost directly over or really close to it, and he's considerably behind it. And what does the length of the dot between the last rib and the LS joint mean? That's your lumbar span. That's the weakest part of the horse's spine. Right. And so that's long in proportion to his overall length. Correct. Which means it would be e very easy to hollow him um, and, and bring some lateralness into his body. Right.